Yes. Now, let us see the difference between the Decronian Act of 1894, which was proposed by British government. You can also call it as colonial government. And uh, the new act which is uh, proposed by the Congress government in the year 2013. So let us see what is the difference between them. Why this is bad and why we have introduced this one. What are the provisions under this act okay, which are not pro-people and what are the provisions which we made pro people in this particular act okay so l a r r you already know what it is land acquisition rehabilitation resettlement act okay that is fine here in the colonial act of 1894 the term public purpose was ambiguous ambiguous in the sense is it is very vague it means what it is open to many interpretations it means what it is open to discretion means the person who is uh, uh, what proposing something he can classify any reason okay and call it as what public purpose okay as i have already told you what is the meaning of public purpose okay right so the the term public purpose was ambiguous and open to what government discretion at that time we are talking about british government un india apudu okay fine so, what do you land acquire? Chial and Kunte public purpose and each epi acquisition do. Kani Apudapu MND, they have also given to what private people also. They have also given for what private purpose also. Okay, basically, what is the meaning of public purpose? Public purpose means any acquisition of land takes place. Okay, any development project comes, it has to be for every one of us, it has to be for common for all of us. That is called as public purpose okay see here in the new act it clearly defines what is the meaning and uh, types of public purpose means what is the project you have to mention the project name then the public purpose uh, could be determined okay so what classifies into the ambit of public purpose anni mention chasing do it they have mentioned everything in that particular act. Okay. A project key public purpose cheppachu. Like that they have given. It means what? Proper okay, system undi. A project undi gada. If it does not come under. Deen lo definition kinda raale dante. Then it is not called as public purpose. Government discretion unda da padu. Government discretion will not be there. Okay. Fine. Land can be acquired forcibly in the old act, but here it's not like that. For a private project, 80% affected families must agree. If the government wanted to acquire my area Tolichoki, then 80% of this family should say, Yes, you can use, you can take it. Okay, obviously, while double equestrian MD Scutum. Okay, if they promise us that we'll give you money more than the market rate. Okay, 50 lakhs land, if you if government says that we'll go in, give in 1 crore rupees, then we are very happy to sell it out, right? But 80% of the family should say yes for the particular project, then only land could be acquired. Okay, for public-private part, partnership, 70% affected families must agree. Okay, suppose government want to acquire a land, Government want to acquire land and in this particular land, airport to be con constructed. Airport to be constructed. And government uh, gave this uh, airport construction to Tata people. Tata wala ki charu sar miru airport construction chase kondi. Okay. So Tata said yes. Mim chase kunta. So it means what? This land is given to what? Private people. This land is given to everyone? Given to private people. Fine. But you can see that the service is for everyone, right? Airport nunchi vachina service under ke dhokta de. So, service matram public purpose ko samay undi. Kan icharu completely oka private person ki. Oka private person ki. Okay. If this is done, if, it, if the process happens in this way, then 80% families to be affect, 
affected family should say yes. Suppose, suppose here, one land is there. Okay, government want to construct a flyover here. Government want to construct a flyover and in this flyover, government money kuda undi. Malli, Allu Arjun kuda investation ru. And uh, you can say that Dabar Wadlu kuda investation ru. All of them has invested here. One, two, three. So, these two are, uh, government is public, these two are what? Private. Okay, Vela, Idharu Kalshi, means two, this, this two entities, Kalshi, fly over Estunarante. This is called as public private partnership, Vala, Oka, asset create Aitundi Animata. One asset is being created with the help of what? Both public and private. If the project is in this way where the government is also involved, then we call it, then 70% families to be, affected families should say yes. Okay. Either this should happen or this should happen, then only land can be acquired. Then only land can be acquired. Remember this point. Okay. The people were not given any right to participate in decision making. But you can see that here people are given no. Okay. When government want to acquire the land, should be acquire or not, a decision should be acquire or not a decision low people are also participating or not yes so e act low people ki akada unna wala ki adgaru okay it's and they forceful be forceful but here it's not possible 80 percent 70 percent criteria is there if you want to take a plan okay more so ever Inka koncham elaborate gane on the provision. People's participation in the decision making koncham elaborate ga kuda on the. More so ever. Okay. There is a... I told you about social impact assessment gurin shepina nino. Social impact assessment uh, I have told you, right? Yes. In the social impact assessment, what will happen? Quite. What will happen in the social impact assessment? Suppose E area low in this particular area. In this area, Toli Shaki, Mailu Degara, Uka flyover as Sunday. If flyover Valla, many houses. Many houses are there, they all have to be destroyed. Many houses, many apartments have to be what? Destroyed. This is one. Means directly we are getting affected. Directly we are getting affected. Now, a person who stays in Jubilee Hills, who stays in Jubilee Hills, his home is in Jubilee Hills, but uh, he has a hardware shop in this area. Someone will have a Italy center in this area. Someone will have a saloon center in this area. Someone will uh, what uh, sell fruits in this area. Okay. So if this flyover comes, so not only the families will get affected, but uh, those who are indirectly dependent on them. Those who are indirectly dependent on that particular area for their livelihood purpose. Okay. These are called as indirectly affected people. And directly because of uh, uh, flyover, those who are living there, Living there, they are called as direct affected people under. Okay. Social impact assessment ante. If this project comes, okay, where I project was the metro project, I sare, the dam I sare, the energy project I sare, okay, where I project was the Akaduna Walla Kante, okay, apart from those people who are affected in that particular area, okay, not only them. Who else are also getting affected? Kura choose the record. Not only them who are directly affected. Akra illulu nai gada. Wala vanni district hai thei. Okay, so their family is direct affected. But there are some people who comes and take their livelihood and run their business in that particular area. They are indirectly affected. So social impact assessment ante. E project was the e development project was the society lo enta impact parthundi adi assess cheyali. Society lo emta impact partundi adi asset cheyali. This is called as social impact assessment. 
okay now here under social impact assessment even even government need to obtain consent of affected artisans those who are working there laborers those who are working there sharecroppers tenants if it is in agriculture area if it is rural area tenants fishermen small traders whose livelihood important as i have told you that whose livelihood depends upon what in that area so what are consent kuda teeskovali not only the families consent teeskovali who are getting their homes destroyed okay ikkada vere vallu akkada pani cheyadaniki vastaru kada vaalla kuda decision teeskovali so you can understand here participation e ledu there is no participation in this act but there is a elaborate participation of people in a decision making okay next point government was free to decide how much to pay while acquiring private line private line ante meedi naadi okay well government me land aina sare na land aina sare acquire cheskunte in the name of a water plant a development project so government used to decide how much to be given to us how much compensation to the given to us okay but here it is not like that compensation first of all market lo nadustunna rates batti ivvali compensation should be given to what is the market rate of my my home at this point of time apart from this four times the market rate in the rural area okay market rate 10 lakhs unte rural area lo okay four times market rate kante four times 10 lakhs ante 40 lakhs ivvali in urban area lo land acquire chese market rate meeda two times ani mata okay so if my home is 1 crore government will give two times one into two double okay fine affected artisans small traders vallaku one time payment icheyali one time payment oka kirana shop aina unde aina kuda vellalsi vastadi aa place nunchi right or wrong yes so ala vallaki one time payment icheyali so that they can go and they can start their business in another place even vallaki land akkada ledu kuda okay even there are they are not owning any land but they got affected no their livelihood got affected no that's why fine then agriculture land is very very fertile land you know that we do crop production in the agriculture land it is very important to ensure what food security andar ki food availability undalante mana country lo అగ్రికల్చర్ ప్రొడక్షన్ సస్టైనబుల్గా ఉండాలి ఇట్లానే ఉండాలి ఇట్లా కిందికి వెళ్ళొద్దు ఓకే గ్రాఫ్ ఇట్లా ఉంటే కిందికి వెళ్ళొద్దు స్ట్రేట్గా ఉండాలి లేకపోతే పైన ఉండాలి కానీ కిందికి వెళ్ళొద్దు అనమాట ఓకే సో ఇఫ్ యూ ఆర్ డిక్రీజింగ్ ద ల్యాండ్ ఫర్ట్ అండ్ ల్యాండ్ ఇఫ్ యూఆర్ టేకింగ్ ఫర్ ది పర్పస్ ఆఫ్ డ్యామ్ కన్స్ట్రక్షన్ పవర్ పర్పస్ ఓకే ఫర్ట్ అండ్ ల్యాండ్ మన దగ్గర అబండెంట్ లేదు కదండి ఇట్స్ నాట్ అబండెంట్ నో ఎవ్రీ ఇంచ్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ ఇండియా ఈస్ నాట్ ఎ ఫర్ట్ అండ్ ల్యాండ్ right red soil is there mountainous soil is there saline soils are there black soils are there so alluvial soil the best soil for agriculture purpose it is very very less okay not very very less it is also good amount but what how much population we are having it's not that much okay very very less ala chusukunte so fertile land ko kuda meeru teeskuntunnaru for the purpose of development projects ante unnade ente okay this much is there the fertile land and you are decreasing this much okay then what about the food security so here fertile land could be also be taken in the old act okay will compromise about food security in the future okay now to ensure food security fertile irrigated multi crop farmland can be acquired only in the last resort last resort ante a development project ki chaala design redesign 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 chesi chesina tarvata malli vallaki solution dorakaledu itlane poals vastundi itla pote raavatledu atla pote raavatledu itla pote raavatledu itlane poals vastundi so there is no other way out then only fertile land could be acquired otherwise maximum avoid cheyali fertile land to be included in what development projects okay and one more provision is there here if fertile land is acquired the go it's a government responsibility to make the equal size of fertile land in some other, some other place okay waste land waste land means 
the land which cannot be used for agriculture purpose. Okay, the soil will be very, very loose. Lot of soil erosion is very, very possible. Here, the soil is very hard here. Okay, moisture content is not there. Okay, and the topography is undulating. Okay, the area is like this. So, government has to develop some... If one acre of fertile land was taken for a metro construction, one acre of wasteland to be converted into what? Fertile land. To be converted into what? Fertile land. Equal size. How much you will take fertile land? The equal size you have to develop the fertile land. Waste and develop into fertile land. If this is because when the government acquires, if the private person acquires, it is the private person responsibility to provide relief and rehabilitation for the affected people. Okay. And in this additional rehabilitation package is there for SCs and STs, especially for vulnerable section of our society. SCs and STs, additional rehab package is there. Okay. Example, fishing rights over dam Iwali. Okay, dam Katina Travata, Akada affected families ki Amir Friga Akada fishing chase kundi and chepali. Extra money if settled outside their native district and so. Okay. The situation so bad I poindi Walaki Akada livelihood Durkat Ledu, Walaki Akada area tapa very area the gravala business and what ledu. So they have to move out of the district and Hyderabad Nunchi Velipo also in the Nimata. If they if they have to move out, out of Hyderabad or they, they settle in another place, okay, extra money should be given. 25% extra money should be given on compensation. Compensation 1 lakh is there, 1 lakh 25,000 to be given to those people who set, has to who are forced to settle out of the district out of the district okay so you can understand that in the new act it is very 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 pure intention is there with the politicians and they wanted to give to the society what they are taking back okay now if any disputes happen my land is there my land is a government acquired but government is not giving me compensation on time okay if any dispute is there government of india has established Dispute settlement authorities, chairman that to a judge, a district judge or a lawyer of for seven years, he can be appointed. So if any disputes are there with the government with regard to the payments etc, we can file cases okay, in the state, in this dispute settlement. Okay, But in the previous act, if the people are having a problem with the compensation and government is not giving them money, money could have evert the compensation could have the then people has no way where to approach. Okay, so such safeguards are not there, but here safeguards are there. Now next one. Head of the department will be made responsible. Always remember every electricity department will have HOD, BSNL department will have HOD, HOD departments are nothing but IAS officers only, like you. Head of the department will be made responsible, okay, if for any offenses or mischief played from the government side. Okay. Fine. Head of the department will, if he do any mischiefs and if he do any corruption stuff, then he will be severely treated by the authorities. Okay. So that's why accountability is ensured. Accountability means if they do any wrong, they have to answer. They have to answer the court. They have to answer the government. That is called as accountability. Here, if any head of the department does any mischiefs, any kind of irregularities in the implementation, no such accountability was there. Okay. So that's why we call this act as very notorious act. Very chet act anyway. Here, if the project did not start after acquisition of land, if the project did not start, okay, the uh, the um, the land was sold secretly to the other uh, private players at sky high prices. Sky high prices, land was sold to the other people. But here it is not like that. If the project does not start uh, uh, even after five years of acquisition of land, the land should be given back to. Those people from whom they have acquired, for whom they have acquired. Remember this point. He should be returned to the original owner. So see how beautiful the um, features are there here. 
राइट यस एटीन लैंड एक्ट वॉज बोगस very very notorious that's why it is very exploited to you also so congress government enacted new law in 2013 with provision of fair compensation market rate two times four times alai charu social impact assessment and dispute settlement these are the three important ratnas of uh, law act of 2013 law act of 2013 so you have learned everything so these are the difference between the colonial act and the law act okay right then law act of 2013 became effective from 1st january 2014 okay but in this act whatever the process is there you no know, it is very complex and sometimes impractical that acquisition will never happen 80% affected fam families uh, uh, yes this quality mali 70% yes this quality ante ala ante ever no one no kuda cheppane chepparu mari there is no chance that they will say no right or wrong so mari uh, uh, when they will say yes when the development will happen in the country so they will always say 80% many of them will say no only so द क्रिटिक्स एम एक्सपर्ट्स एम अंटे एटी पर्सेंट यस चाले चाल कष्ट अला अंत यह लैंड एक्विजिशन चयन इंका डेवलपमेंट प्रोजेक्ट स्टार्ट चाल कष्ट सर अब ओके फैंड हॉल डाउट्स एनजीओ विल इनगे ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव पर्सेंट आफ् द एफेक्टेड फैमिली ईजीली एनजीओ दि एनिमी एनजीओ अपोजिशन पार्टी एनजीओ they'll go to the uh, villages they will say idam mane manchi ledu idam valla mottam potadi mee jeppa pillal jeevitham naasnam aitadi ivanni cheppi 20 25% families ki ivanni cheppi vallaki influence cheyadaniki entha sepandi very easy to do so ngos can play card here and instigate the people over there 20 25 families to oppose a project so that project should never come into existence okay right litigation because local patwaris and tahsildar never maintain proper land records of who owns how much land okay lot of disputes are happening litigation lot of lands are involved litigation okay this land is there this land a is saying it is my land b is saying it is my land c is saying it is my land local authorities patwaris vros they also did not maintain proper record this land belongs to whom land 1 land 2 sorry land 1 belongs to whom they don't know okay there are three documents are there with three persons right or wrong and metro is going in this way metro is proposed in this way so government compensation ever ki wali a ki wala b ki wala c ki wala idi settle aithe kada idi jarugutadi right atlane there is lot of litigation is there with regard to what with regard to land acquisition lot of litigation is there with regard to what land acquisition remember this point here then this raised the land prices red tape is in litigations because of litigations land automatically 10 years varaku atlane undi poyindi then land rates elagina perigindi okay red tape is in red tape is in ante bureaucrats they are not taking any decision on it bureaucrats are not taking any decision ఇది ఎవరిది ఉంది వాళ్ళకి ఇచ్చేద్దాం వాళ్ళకి టైటిల్ ఇచ్చేద్దాం వాళ్ళకి అది కూడా అవ్వలేదు ఎందుకంటే లిటిగేషన్లో ఉన్నప్పుడు కోర్టులో ఉంటుంది కేసు రైట్ అండ్ దస్ ద ఓవరాల్ ప్రొజెక్ట్ కాస్ట్ గాట్ ఇంక్రీస్డ్ ఓకే నైదర్ ద ఫార్మర్ గుడ్ సైడ్ ఇట్స్ ల్యాండ్ అండ్ మూవ్ టు ద అర్బన్ ఏరియాస్ నార్ ది నార్ ఇక్కడ నార్ ది ఆంటర్ప్రీనర్ గుడ్ బై ద ల్యాండ్ అండ్ మూవ్ టు ద టువర్ ద రూరల్ ఏరియాస్ ओके अल्टीमेटली फार्मर लैंड फार्मर कुड नॉट सेल इट एंड प्राइवेट पर्सन ही कुड नॉट टेक इट लैंड इज हैंगिंग इन द मिडिल लैंड इज हैंगिंग इन द मिडिल बिकॉज ऑफ लिटिगेशन बिकॉज ऑफ लिटिगेशन ओके मल्ल कंबाइंड विथ इनवरामेंट ऐक्टिविजम एंड पॉलिसी पेरालिस ऑफ यूपीए रिजीम वेन एवर यूपीए गवर्नमेंट ओके टू थौज लैवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन टू थौज लैवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन वेन एवर यूपीए गवर्नमेंट प्रजेंटेड ए बिल ओके बीजेपी दाखी पास चेयलेद ओके आलवेज अपोजी मत टू थ्री इयर्स बिल पास अवे ओके दट इज़ कॉल ऐस 
policy paralysis. What do we call it as? Policy paralysis. Okay, means whatever the policies are coming, the opposition did not allow at that time to pass through it. Okay, they told that Idi Manchile do, Adi Manchile do, Din Mida Matlada Ali, etc. etc. Chepi, asal eh, me jargale do. And moreover, at that time, Congress government ki Anna Hazare 2011 lo, he was sitting for the anti-corruption purpose. So combined with that, uh, Congress became very weak and ultimately it got fizzled out and led to this uh, 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 power uh, power for it anymore. Okay. So environmental activism could have chala in the 2011 lo. Okay. At that time, that Congress second tenure end lo, environmentalist equa could have happened. E dam to itla itadi, ya dam to itla itadi, power plant to itla itadi, nuclear power plant radiation se itadi. So chala craze ochi in the environmentalist lo. So valu kuda chala opposition chindu, anna azare kurchu naru. Okay, and part parliament lo opposition im pani cheda ni kivat ledu. So all this happened and Congress got a very very bad name in the 2012-13. Every time protest was there. The end result was infrastructure was never created. Okay. And uh, the country has seen some inflation and fall in GDP. And fall in GDP. That is what has happened. Okay. Fine. As such, those stringent law provisions did not apply to 13 central laws. Okay. Then another important aspect here is, you have to know that... Uh, See, the LAR Act, a lot of provisions for there, no? We have seen the uh, difference between Colonial uh, Act and the LAR Act, the difference we have seen. So, many acts are there. Atomic Energy Act is there, Electricity Act is there. In that also, if electricity station kartuna pudu, okay, and atomic energy plant kartuna pudu, okay, if uh, in that act also, the particular department, the particular department, Department of Atomic Energy, Department of Electricity, Valu kuda land acquire chesaru, okay. So, our acts are kuda provisions unnai. There are around 13 acts are there where in which government gave permission to the respect to statutory bodies to acquire land from the people. To acquire land from the people and to pay them compensation. And to pay them compensation. But LAR Act lo unna provisions and whatever the updations that we have got that was not updated in 13 acts. So, the 13 acts are having still decorian laga unnai, still very forceful acquisition ga unnai in the nimata. So, in this 13 acts ki amend jeshi, e lar act lo unna provision dhan no petta lante parliament lo up to winter session chala gudwa lai poendi, adi pass avadam chala custom hai poendi. So, the Modi government has issued what ordinance? Modi government has issued what ordinance? Okay. So, as these stringent law provisions are not applicable to 13 central as like Atomic Energy Act, Social Impact Assessment, Ledu, Market Rate Compensation, Ledu, Anlo. Okay. So, but government, the grant, the time, Ledu, Chala, Rakkas was going on in the parliament. So, government has seen possibility, no possibility to see, uh, to amend what 13 laws. Okay. Indu Kante, because of frequent disruptions in the winter session. Frequent disruption in, by the Congress government in the winter session. Modi government done, does not enjoy in majority in the Rajya Sabha. Because of that what happened, even they enjoy the majority in Lok Sabha, they passed Rajya Sabha, did not allow the things to pass. Some of the union ministers has not even prepared the bills. Okay, that means 13 acts are there, no? 13 acts, obviously 13 departments are there. 13 departments, 13 ministries will be there. Our ministers will to prepare for the bill. Okay, even the bill, quota bills were prepared So that's why, therefore, the government decided to use ordinance rules under Article uh, 123 of the Constitution. Okay, with one hour ordinance, all the 13 acts got amended. Okay, with regard to what? Land acquisition. With regard to land acquisition. Okay, thanks for following to me. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Take care and do spread the uh, all videos. Okay, so that everyone will take the benefit of it. Have a nice day.